What's up, guys? Back again with more Fallout. Uh, pretty much where we left off now. So you can see I am in the room where I need to be with the water chip, I think. Or the pump or something over here. Um, so Harry over here, he was giving me problems. Uh, I ended up, I just talked to him a whole bunch of times. He killed me a whole bunch of times. But it was a speech check. Um, I guess my speech just wasn't high enough. It's at 55% right now. But just trying it over and over again. I eventually passed, I think there was two of them. It's hard to tell um, with the dialogue tree. But I think there was two speech checks. And you had to pass both of them in the same pattern. Um, and I finally got it so where I passed both of them. And he said he was confused and he let me on by. So uh, I did do that off camera. It took me a decent amount of time. But we're back in the game. Hopefully going to get this uh, pump working and then maybe get a water chip. So um, as we can see, this is the water chip. Uh, and then the water pump isn't working. Okay, so I'm going to need to use the skill. Uh, science. And bam. Water pump isn't working. Okay, well, that didn't help. Um, so repair... You fail to. You might need a new fuse. Well. You fail to. Yeah, the water pump isn't working. I freaking know that. Alright, I'm just gonna keep trying here. Oh, I have to use the items. I am such a dumbass. Okay. Got to use the, quote, junk. Okay, you're having difficulties making these parts work. Oh, my goodness. Yet another check I have to pass. Oh, my God. Come the fuck on. You're having, oh my goodness. I'm going to keep trying. I don't have anything that will boost it either. And I'm not close to another level. I was a freaking dumbass. Because I remembered this part in the game. And I thought, oh, it will be super easy. I'll just buff up my science before I get there. Well, it turns out this isn't a science check. It's a repair check. Finally. Oh my god. Wow, that was, that actually did not take me as long as I thought. All right, the massive pump struggles to life after after you successfully install the missing parts. You gain a thousand experience points for fixing the pump. So we are actually right along the way to another level. Okay, you know what? I'm a safe. <laughs> I do not want to experience those sections again. Now this guy, I think, door is locked. Can we open it? Door is locked. I don't know how to open it. I don't know what to do. Okay. There should be a way down to that section that we saw before. Is it this one? Oh, I can lockpick. I totally fucking forgot about it. Lockpick. I didn't even check what percentages. I doubt it's a bit. Oh, you were not able to pick the lock. Damn it. I thought I said I was able to. 30%. That's not very good. You unlocked the door. Haha, <laughs> it worked anyways. Right. Set him free. Thanks for letting me out. No problem. Carry on, sir. Okay. Here we go. Down that ladder. And down this one. And what's going to be down here, I wonder? Oh, fuck. Alright, so these are ghouls that are like... Like, beyond bad. 35 health, though. It's not too bad. <laughs> you tread without permission. Ghoul sentry. Okay, so I have my laser pistol. 
few bullets left. Okay. It's nice. Glowing one. Oh, he's got to reload. Oh, he's out of bullets for the SMG. Okay, so they're running. I'll switch back to my other weapon. Can I hit him from here? Oh, I might be able to. Nice! Awesome. Okay. I gotta remember to get um, bullets for um, Ian. Oh! Looky there. It's a vault. Oh, I thought he would have stuff. Stop wasting your ammo. Get closer. Okay, so let's do four. And shoot. Oh, damn. Just gonna have to use all of them to get closer. Nice. And he disappeared. Okay. So another vault. So maybe this vault has a water chip. So we've been to vault 15. 13's is broken. 15 didn't have one. Or they might have, but it was buried. Um, maybe this one. Oh, man, I hope I don't need a rope. I really hope the elevator works. Yay. Okay, level 2. Wow, that is a lot of glowing ones. I think if there were... Come on. I think the command center is on level 3. I'm, I really don't want to die. So I think I'm just going to go straight there. Shit. There are so many. Okay, hopefully they won't see me. Now this is the weapons room, I think, and the other one. And of course it's empty. I really need some ammo for my guns. Okay, so I think this is the command center over here. I'm going to at least have to kill three of these guys. It looks like I might have four more bullets. They're not attacking me. Maybe they won't go hostile. Oh, sweet! That is awesome. Okay. This is the water processing control center. Or control computer. It is functional. What? Alright. Scroll up a little bit. After shutting down the water purification computer, you can hear the repaired water pump working in the distance, bringing water up from what must have been a deep well under Necropolis. You have gone up level... You have gained 2,500 experience points for getting a water chip. Oh, yeah. Whew. So that was the first major quest and really one one of the most difficult just because of, you know, our, um, our level, you know, it being so low and us having to do all these things to actually get here. So let's get some points going. Uh, I don't think there's too much more. You know what? I'm just going to leave points. And then hope I don't get killed on the way out. Please don't kill me, guys. I don't think there's anything else that I really want here. I mean, I can always come back. Yes. And I think we get more experience points when we take the water chip back to Vault 13. Let's see, how many days do we have left? We have 90 days. That is going to be plenty of time. So provided we don't get shot the fuck up somewhere along the way, we should be, should be in the clear for the water chip. I'm going to go back, though, and talk to the leader of the um, the good ghoul guys. Oh, fuck. I hope I can make it out of here alive. 
I'm just gonna run real fast and hope that no one sees me. Uh. Okay. We're good. Oh man, that scared me. Alas, it is a rat. And we will shoot the rat. Bloop. Done, son. Alright. Let's get the truck out of here. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. I thought this would lead all the way back. Oh shit, that's the last of my bullets. Man, I, I've got to find some good loot, sell it so I can get ammo. Oh, come the fuck on. There we go. Um. Let me actually. Okay, so we got about 5,000 more points to the next level. Which isn't too bad. That's like one really big quest. Okay, this I think leads back. Yeah. Yay, we're getting stuff done. Cool, man. Alright. A lot of this game, especially in the beginning, is just surviving. Like, it's... The, the difficulty in the beginning, I think, is way higher than uh, at the end of the game. Alright. Thank you for repairing the water pump. I hope all is well with your people when you return with what you have found. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. Oh my god, I just walked that whole way for nothing. Oh, we can pick up that though. First day kit. How much health should we have? 53? You can actually get points, um, or skill points by healing yourself, which I'm going to do. Just for funsies. You, I think you get points in Doctor. Yeah, 25 experience. Or maybe it's just XP. I don't remember. You failed to do anything. I don't care. Well, at least I got some health out of it. Alrighty. So we're pretty much done here. We can jet back over to Vault 13, and then that should be it, man. That should be it. Woo! Lots of ghouls around. What's up, guys? Damn, I'm sick of it being dark. I can barely see. Oh, yeah. These guys were the ones that attacked me earlier. I just helped you guys out. Yes. Finally. Plug away for Vault 13. Oh, my goodness. I hope there's not a random encounter. I mean, there will be. Whether or not it will kill us is another story. Oh. Uh, wow, we're doing pretty good. No random encounters. Shit. Of course I had to jinx it. Oh, it's a bunch of cows. <laughs> Wild Brahmin. You feel there is something wrong. <laughs> Moo, I say. Moo. Moo. There's nothing around here. Why would there be something wrong? <laughs> you came across... Oh, you, I don't know. No, no. I thought it said something else. Moo. Moo. I don't, I don't know what it is, man. There's nothing else on this little square. Wow, of all the random encounters, that was like the best one we could have gotten. I mean, uh, I mean, there are a couple of them that actually are like amazing and you get like some rare items, but I'm actually pretty happy with that. All right, we need to go straight to the command center. Let's go down here. Back in Vault 13. Oh, shit, I can't have my weapon out, I don't think. 
let's put this guy away. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I need some weapons. Okay. I think she might let me have weapons now after I turn in this water chip. Yeah, let's save it. Sweet. And there he is. Oh, he cannot get there. Well, stand in fucking front of him. Have you found the chip? Hmm. So apparently there's a sub subplot here where this guy, the overseer, is kind of keeping the people in the vault. Let's ask him about leaving. Well, you've certainly earned that right. But let's take care of survival first. Give me the chip and we'll discuss this when you give your report. I don't want to push, though. I don't want to fight this guy. So we'll oh, say fair enough. You one moment. The chip is initializing. Good. Ha! It's working, and it looks like we have a winner. <laughs> oh, you've you've saved us. Hmm. You've done it. You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. We'll get. Okay, so I gotta go to the library. Yay, another level. 7,000 experience points. Sweet. Uh, for returning the water chip and saving the vault. Congratulations. You've gone up a level. You log your reports in the library computer system. You should return to the overseer and finalize your progress. Sweet. I'm not even going to bother with upgrading, although I think we get a perk. We do. Um, let's talk to the overseer one more time. Alrighty. What have you got for us this time? I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. About I, what? I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> in fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and, well, I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. Uh, the mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe, and I don't really understand it, but it looks like someone's generating new mutants, and at a startling rate. Exactly. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally, even with the radiation from the war. As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. Once more into the breach, my friend. I have no idea how sorry I am to send you back out. Hmm. So basically, those mutants that we saw earlier um, in Necropolis, someone's making them. Which, they originally came from, um, well, actually, I guess that's part of the story. So we'll discover it in a little bit. Thank you for returning the water chip. Gotta help morale. You're still not gonna let me get weapons, huh? Um, so, yeah. Someone out there is making mutants, which is bad. So we have to figure out how and probably put a stop to it because mutants are bad. Alrighty. Vault 13. Blah. Back out into the wastes. Alright. Let's... I'm wondering what to do right now. Now, basically in the game, we don't have a time limit like we did. I mean, I think technically there still is a time limit, but it's something really, really long. Like, we'll we'll never actually get to the time limit. Um, but now, we don't have the water chip crisis going on, so we have a lot more time to do stuff.
I want to try the Raiders again, but we really need weapons. I'm actually going to try Junk Town for weapons, or at least for ammo. I think there's a guy there that can help us out. Oh, we have a level to uh, take care of, too. So, yeah, there's tons of stuff we can do right now. There's side quests. Um, there's bunches of different, like, branching paths that we can explore for the main quest. All sorts of things. Uh, individual scouting about. I don't really want to get involved because I doubt that I have the capability of killing these guys. All right, let's try junk town here. Junk town. Ba -ba -da. Okay, talk to this friendly old chap. Gates are closed for the night. Come back in the morning. Oh, let's try to convince him. Rules are rules. Okay. Well, we'll just give him some space. See if we can rest here. Rest until morning. Let's rest until 8 o'clock in the morning. There we go. Welcome to Junk Town. What can I do for you? Um, where can I get some supplies? Oh, heck. Place for that is Dark Waters. Killian runs it. Cool, man. Thank you, sir. Let's go head on in. Um, is it this way? I don't think so. Nope. Let's just walk right on through there. Uh, I think it's over here. General store. Dark waters. Oh. There's something else. Over here that we need to take care of. Is there another part of this map? There is. Let's keep on going up. We're going to come back to Dark Waters um, and talk to Killian and get some supplies. In the meantime, we're going to go up here because I just remembered something. Aha! Alright, so, um, oh, okay. Um, there's a dog. Dog seems to think you are his owner. You gain 100 experience points for helping Phil solve the canine conundrum, which we didn't even start, um, because I actually forgot about it until just now. Now, if you notice the jacket I'm wearing, if you haven't noticed already, oh shit, we're gonna do that in a second. Um, it's a one arm jacket, leather jacket. It's from the movie Mad Max. Uh, Mad Max has a dog named Dog Meat. Uh, at least in the original one with Mel Gibson. I actually haven't seen the newest one. So, I actually don't know if that's even a reboot or a sequel or what that is. Anyways, so the dog thought we were his original owner, which is theoretically Mad Max. And, um, yeah. So now he's a part of our party. Dog Meat. Woof. <laughs> You see a dog, he seems to be following you. So yeah, we have another companion. Dog meat is actually really cool in this game. So Alright, back to Dark Water. So yeah, we got another companion. So it's us, Dog Meat, and uh Ian now. Alright, let's see if we can buy some ammo. Whoops. Alright. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Um, I want to well, buy that's something. That's a damn fine coincidence. That's what this store is here for. We got about everything you can need. Let me show you some things over here. Please don't be overpriced. Okay. Wow, he has four things. <laughs> uh, Magnum. Hollow points. Desert Eagle. Okay, let's see how much it is. 
I don't think I have anything to sell for it. I can sell this and this and this and this. I might be able to. I don't really need that. I don't need any of these. Yeah. Oh, 80. I need like one more thing. Oh, I have caps that I can use. Um, what is this? Full metal jacket. That I think is for a rifle. Oh, 65. Are you freaking serious? Alright, so 15. Done. Alright, cool. Uh, offer. Bling! Alright, done. Goodbye, sir. Alright, so now that I have those, I'm gonna talk to Ian. And he has no ammo for any of his shit anymore. So I'm gonna give him 30 bullets. Um, offer. And tell him to draw his best weapon, which should be his SMG. All right, we are golden, guys. I got my laser pistol, which unfortunately Killian doesn't have any um, ammo for, but. What the fuck? Kenji? Killian was hit. Okay, so he's not attacking me. Well, good chance to use, out, use our new gun. Nice, 10 points. Not wonderful, but... Ah, oh, yes. Dog me, get him. Oh, no. There we go. No. Don't kill him. There we go. Awesome. Oh. 400 experience points for helping Killian fight the assassination. So it was an assassin. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? Um, I think so, yeah. You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. Or plant this wiretap in his office. Either way. And we got him. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. All right, so there's a whole bunch of, like, politics in this town that, honestly, we're not going to get into right now just because it's super complex and it's really above our level. We need to <laughs> gain a few more levels before we come back and deal with this. We got lucky that we were able to kill that assassin. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to float on out of here for right now. Maybe take care of these raiders and uh, come on back. Cool, man. Alrighty. Raiders. Bloop. <coughs> Alright. Ah, of course. Please don't be a... Okay. What the hell is this? Fruit. Should I try to kill these guys? I don't think it'll really hurt. Bam. Yeah, that's the really good part. Dog meat gets like four attacks. His AP is ridiculous. Nice. See, we're getting better at this. Okay. Back up to the Raiders. Oh, come on. More mole rats. Nice. Cool. 
cool. Alright. Raiders. Alright, definitely gotta save here. Just because of what happened last time. Uh, let's reload. We'll try diplomacy first because with oh yeah, I need to level up. Glad I remembered. Okay. Uh, so perks, bonus hand-to-hand -hand attacks, bonus damage, bonus move. That might really help us. Range damage. Earlier sequence. Uh, educated. Uh, empathy. Uh, uh, uh. More criticals. Night vision. Ranger scout. Sharpshooter. That might be good. Smooth talker. Snake eater. Swiftler her toughness. Is there nothing that allows me more AP? Really, I think Sharpshooter is the best one. The talent of hitting things at longer distances for each... You get a plus two bonus for each level of this perk to Perception. So, our Perception is already at nine. So, every time we it checks for Perception for a firearm, it'd be like we had level 11, which would be fucking awesome. Um, definitely makes us more accurate. Or the other one was moving a longer distance. I'm gonna go with sharpshooter just because we're we need that extra <laughs> extra little bit. Uh, I'm gonna up this a little bit, up the speech a little bit. Um, first aid, it really doesn't need to get much better than that. Um, I'm gonna save those skill points if we need to. You know, randomly use a certain skill, we can just throw those in there real quick. And hope for the best. Actually, let me save right here after I leveled up. Alright. Um, I'm an explorer. Kill him. <laughs> okay, so that's not a uh, skill check that you can pass. Load game. So I can say maybe I want to join him. To kick some serious ass. Um, can handle it. Kill these women. Okay. I'm not gonna kill the women, but I will kill you. Um, let's do aimed mode. 88%. Ooh! We have almost a 50% chance of hitting them in the head. Bam! 20 points. Serious wound is inflicted. I think that means we get a critical hit. Let's reload and rest there. Uh, I was hit for 12 points. Not as... Oh, shit. Another 12. Come on. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Even though it was only 2 points of damage, he's going to spend most of his AP standing up. And I get a bonus for um, hitting him while he's stunned. Yes, 85% chance to hit him in the head. Yes, okay. This is going much better than last time. Um, I should have healed there, but that was my bad. Nice. He's down on the ground again. Oh, shit, we are taking some damage. Oh, Alright, I'm going to start off by healing. All the way back up, I think. Okay. That's gonna be good enough. And then shoot this motherfucker on the ground. Oh, come on. Oh, no! I meant to do an aim shot. Okay, dog meat killed him. Yes! This is great. 
right, so let's... Um, I'm just going to do a single shot there. Nice. I almost killed. Oh, my goodness. We were so lucky on that. Um, I don't have enough points to look at his inventory. But I think he's got some good armor on him, which we'll, we will definitely take. Oh, man. I don't... I want that armor, but... We have three people closing in on us. I need to take out the people with guns. I have a better chance of hitting this person, though. Let's go with them. <laughs> of course. Of freaking course. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Oh, yeah, he's got ammo. He's got this. He's got this. Booze. Awesome. Uh, and I still have one skill point. Or one AP. Oh, please don't kill Ian. I will have to start this whole battle all over again. He has 18 health. Alright, so... Kill that bitch. Come over here. Oh, shit. I should have tried to reload. Oh, where's dog meat going? He might be hurt. Okay, good. Hit me, because I have lots of hit points. No! Okay. I think Ian's gonna die. Oh, poor dog meat. Yes, okay, she's damaged enough so that she's leaving. Uh, I'm gonna try to shoot her in the head. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Critically hit in the head for 48 points. Knocks her unconscious. Killed her. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, don't hurt poor dog meat. Alright, he has 44 some points. Wait, is this Ian? I can't fucking tell. Alright, so I'm going to try to reload and run over here. Okay, how many hit points do you have? 25. Okay. Nice. Dog meat over there. Taking care of business. Okay, dog meat's taking a beating. Alright, I really just needed to check on him. I'm gonna go over here and help dog meat, hopefully. Shit! Not like he needs help. Nice. Okay, Ian's killing him. Yeah, the girls are escaping. Cool. Oh. Hit for two points. Okay, let's get a good position on this guy. What? Your aim is blocked. Oh. Right here, maybe? Fuck. Okay. Come on. Oh, please don't kill dog meat. Okay. How are we doing, dog meat? No! I used up. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. Okay, he's killing him. Hmm. 
19 hit points. 32%, 42, okay. Nice, 11 hit points, how many do you have left? Three. I'll take it. Come on. Nice, dead. Okay. Um, 84. Nice. He has 20. He is going to live through the next turn, unfortunately. Oh, maybe not. Yes. And Talia is hopefully dead. Yes. Awesome. Okay. We got it in control here. Um, this guy. Oh, negative 3% chance. All right. Let's run over here. Ouch. 10 hit points. Um, 29%. Wow, that's not very good. Uh, reload, I guess. 8 points. Shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. In the head. Wow, he still lived. 21 health points. Okay. Nice. Critical hit on that dude. Oh no! I'm about to die. Um, whoops. Okay. Um. Oh, that's single. Okay. 82. I missed. Jeez, man. I just healed myself and I'm already back down. There we go. Finally. Well, at least I hit him. Nice. Let's see if I can end combat. Okay, so I got some experience points for rescuing the slaves. Let's see. Now that I'm out of combat, I can do a couple things I couldn't do before, like upgrade my armor, which I think is better. 20%. Okay, so this is... Yeah, this is better. Um... Go ahead and put this in there. I might actually have a better chance to hit with this. Okay, so this is good because everyone gets to heal. Oh, sweet combat armor. I think that's actually even better. Um, I think dog meat's still around. Some of the stuff I'm picking to use for myself. Oh, ooh. Um, most of this I'm just going to sell. I can't remember if combat or metal armor is better. Where's the defense? Uh, normal 30%. Ooh. Metal armor is better. Better. Okay. Um... Let's see, where's dog meat? Hopefully he did not die. Oh my goodness. I'm looking through the log here to see if he died. Are you fucking serious? Hit and killed. On a normal playthrough of the game, I would probably quit. Because I'm so freaking angry. 
Because uh, you can't get dog meat back. There is no respawn. You know what, guys? This is going to have to be a dog meatless run. Oh, it's so fucking frustrating. That's alright, though. Next run. Next walkthrough, we'll, we'll have dog meat. We'll try to keep him alive. Um, ooh, I do have a better chance to hit. Let's do aimed shot. Ooh, maybe not with the aim shot. Single. And I missed. Nice. Alright. Was killed. Oh shit, she's got tons of ammo. Okay. I'm tempted to give... Well, no, he's got the SMG. I don't want to take that away from him. Uh, bloop. Damn it. <laughs> oh, goodness. The other guy got hit instead of me. Nice. And now I don't think he has a weapon. Damn. Damn. Missed. Okay. I missed. And I have one bullet left for this gun here. Okay. Um. Thirteen percent. All right. So let's just reload this. Go in here. Heal up. And move closer. God, does he not have an SMG? I get I don't remember if it takes the same um ammo. I thought it did. Oh shit. Ah, oh, I hit Ian instead. Damn it. See, there should not be friendly fire in this type of game. Oh fuck, he picked up a spear again. How much does he have left? 16 hit points. Why didn't he use his spear instead of kicking me? Ah, oh, 8 hit points. Blood and darkness. Finally. Okay, so we know he doesn't have anything good. So, I thought... There was the girl I was trying to save here. Is she locked in one of these cages? It's locked. Okay, well. Oh. Wonder what she. Oh, okay. More ammo. Roger that. This and these. And. Wow. I'm surprised at the amount of stuff I'm able to carry. Um, lockpick. Which one's that? Two. You are not able to pick the lock. Come on. Just gotta keep trying. Come on. You unlock the door. Woo! Okay. Who's in here? <laughs> Nobody. Of course. What about this one? Oh, first try. Cool. Is there anyone in here? Also, no. Well, who was I supposed to rescue? Oh, whoops. Do I have a... I might have a quest log. Uh, status? Shady Sands. Stop the Rad Scorpions. 
No one gave me the quest for what's her name? A bruised and battered woman. Thank you for saving me. Well, I'm trying to find the other girl. Ooh. Yeah, your maximum weight capacity. Well, there it is. All right, bruised and battered woman. Thank you for saving me. Care to thank me in any other ways? Ah, I don't know where it is. All right, well, I'm going to um, end this one here as well. I think we can call most of this uh, a success. We gained a couple of levels. We killed a bunch of people. We did some quests. Uh, I think it went pretty well. Dog meat is dead. We had him for less less than an episode, which is a real bummer. But oh well, uh, we're gonna keep on keeping on and um, see where we go from here. Next up, we're gonna do some exploring, see what else is out there in the wasteland, and um, yeah. So hope you guys had fun watching this video, and I will catch y'all later.